Welcome to scenario one of our Neves software presentations. This scenario is the starting point of the maintenance process. It will show you how data is held in a logical structure within the system against aircraft, components, track documents and discrepancies. I will then show you how this integrated data follows a process flow leading to the production of the do list and work pack. The starting point for tech records is the aircraft registration card. Here we can see all the top level details for a sing single aircraft. It shows the number of hours and the number of, number of cycles the aircraft has taken since it was new. The system can handle an unlimited amount of aircraft registrations and aircraft type code combinations. Itemized against each aircraft are the engines, the APUs, propellers and landing gears. For each aircraft, all rotable components are tracked. The top level component information immediately displays what tracking information is to be used, when the component was installed and how many hours and cycles the aircraft has flown since the installation. The item shown in bold indicates that the component itself is an assembly. Drilling down to the next level displays all the components on the assembly and the relevant information as before. Entering a component card shows us the detailed information about a single component. The details shown include which aircraft is installed on and which location. Overhaul and knife limits determine when the component needs to be maintained. Here we can see time between overhaul, time since new, time to next overhaul and time to last repair. Linked to each component card are a number of task cards. The current status of the task is available from the component drop down options. Task cards are detailed the work that is necessary to carry out the maintenance. We are able to attach documents to the task. This may be a document that is relevant to the task such as figure pages or instructions. Documents entered here will be printed out attached to the work card header page when the work is to be carried out. The documents can be held either within the database or externally depending on the requirement. We can also enter spares that are to be used. Access panels. And work instructions. The task contains the threshold and interval details of when this work is required to be done. The task may be applied to either aircraft type, engine or component. The more button allows the task to be associated to more than one item of the same type. The planning details contain resource information. These include trade code, work type code, number of men and estimated man hours and so on. All of this information is used within our plan air function that allows for the work pack to be flowed. For more information on plan air, please see the items in scenario 2. 
The NAVAIR system also caters for check types to be used to generate a work pack. This can be used in conjunction with or separate from the tracking details. Other documents like Airworthiness Directive, Survey Buttons and other tracked items contain some of the details we have just seen on the tasks. They contain specific instructions that should be carried out usually regardless of the tracking information, although the tracking threshold and intervals are available and cater for repeated processing. Other track documents cater for any other document type that you may want to track. The type of the other track documents is user maintainable. The remaining documents are discrepancies. They contain any information that needs to be carried out on a specific aircraft. The details entered here are normally from the flight log prior to a work pack being produced. Discrepancies can also be created during maintenance check and be associated to another card. This information can then be used to identify if a discrepancy should become a scheduled item rather than have to be a discrepancy that is identified for each aircraft. Information to be entered includes the description, the corrective action and the reliability information. Once the discrepancy has been processed then the status can be changed to complete and then no, it will no longer be suggested for inclusion in the work pack. As you can see, the rectification status is currently planned. We need to set it to open in order for it to be included in the next work pack. The next thing to do is to generate the due list. The due list is a collection of items that need to be performed in order to meet the scheduled aircraft maintenance requirements. The due list is run for a single aircraft. The list of requirements will be based on a future date. The projected by date is used to calculate the number of hours and cycles the aircraft will have performed on this date. The previous average cycles and hours performed are used to calculate the projected hours. Additional options are create panel cards, add open discrepancies, check spares and if to show m multiple due tasks more than once. The generate is now running. All tasks, SPs, ADs, OTDs, components and discrepancies for the aircraft are now examined. If an item is found to be required, it will be added to the list for final user approval. All or selected items can now be selected to be included in the as final work items. The selected items a link to a job. This will create both job task lines and work cards. Work cards are the physical documents that are used to carry out the work. They are printed out or collated to be sent out electronically together with any work instructions and documentation and include a barcode that can be used in clocking functions. The total man hours worked will be recorded against the work card. After the work card has been completed, the work card compliance can be set and the corresponding technical record will then be updated. The 
the jobs and associated lines are designed to capture all of the costs associated with carrying out each, each of the individual tasks and allows for actuals to be compared to the estimates. Jobs are part of the standard NAV and can be used for the remainder of the NAV ERP system if required. To sum up, we have looked at the data held within the system, aircraft, component, track documents and discrepancies. I then showed you how the integrated data follows the process flow leading to the production of the due list and work pack. This concludes scenario two. Our next item, scenario two, shows how we can now start to plan the maintenance work using our graphical planning tool, Planair. Thank you.